Over the last few years, as fertilizer prices have become increasingly unpredictable, thousands of farmers have learned about the costly potential of nitrogen losses from urea into the air, known as volatility. While many have learned how to protect against those losses, saving money and boosting yields in the process, misunderstanding persists about when and how this volatility occurs, leading others to believe they are protected against nitrogen-robbing volatility when they indeed are not. That's what led Rick Engel, a soil scientist and associate professor at Montana State University, to establish his research into quantifying ammonia losses from urea applications made to no-till wheat in his state's cold climate. This question about ammonia volatility from surface applications of urea, it's been, uh, we've been asking it in this country for, for really decades. And uh, I began working for Montana State University back in uh, in 1983, and we were asking that question back then, the issue of cold weather volatility has come up and there's always been the belief that we can minimize losses of ammonia if we apply, just apply uh, urea fertilizer in cold weather. Uh, what we've been seeing actually is some very large losses even when the soil temperatures are, are near freezing. To start, Engel chose locations with some of the coolest temperatures in the continental United States, near the Canadian border in northern Montana. In each test field, he established three separate circular measurement plots and utilized unique custom-built instrumentation to measure ammonia losses. Well, one of the big project objectives um, of this study is to look at ammonia losses, and specifically we want to know just how much of that urea that we apply to the soil surface is lost as ammonia. And to do that, we're utilizing this uh, micrometeorological approach that I have uh, standing behind me. It's a, a mast and uh, it configured in the middle of these uh, circular plots. And on, in the mast, we have these shuttle devices or traps, which are there to collect ammonia that's coming off the soil surface. To compare this outgassing from the field in varying situations, Engel creates three circular plots in each location, one with urea alone, another with urea protected by agritane, and a third left unfertilized. What we have is um, this system, we're working with uh, a center mass that's behind me, that's situated inside of a circular plot. And our circular plot is 20 meters in the radius or 40 meter diameter circle. And what we do is we fertilize the area inside of that circular plot. We did that about a week ago. And as that um, urea undergoes hydrolysis, it's converted to ammonium carbonate and becomes susceptible to uh, volatility losses, we're able to trap that ammonia with those shuttles. We're trapping the uh, ammonia, we bring it back to the lab, we uh, wash out the ammonia that's trapped in that shuttle. And of course, when we come out here and swap out those shuttles, we've got another set of shuttles that have been recharged to replace them. So what we're doing with this system is we're doing continuous measurements of ammonia that are coming off of those circular plots. And the outcome? Well, while Professor Engel's research is ongoing, his first five campaigns have yielded very interesting results that definitively demonstrate significant losses of nitrogen from urea applied during cooler temperatures. We've conducted five campaigns to date, and our losses have varied everywhere from 3 up to 40 percent. Our highest volatility losses have occurred where we've had damp conditions at the soil surface for prolonged periods of time, but without any accompanying rain that was sufficient to really move the fertilizer into the ground where it's no longer susceptible to volatilization. During some of my earlier campaigns, we've actually applied nitrogen fertilizer on top of a ground which had a trace of snow, and we actually have seen losses of up to 22% of nitrogen coming off as ammonia during the first week. Um, and this is because we had prolonged damp conditions uh, which were seen to be very conducive to volatility losses. In fact, in one such campaign, a comparison between the unprotected and agritane protected plots in the crucial two weeks following application showed a distinct difference between the two, indicating a substantial loss of nitrogen from untreated urea and a considerable validation for the agritane. Well, what we're finding with agritane is it's giving us two weeks of protection uh, from volatilization losses. And um, over an eight week campaign, uh, we'll see a, a, a reduction in the amount of ammonia lost, or amount of urea lost as ammonia, and the protection is amounts to about 60% over an untreated product. 
Now that Professor Engel has completed his initial studies, he's continuing his research with more winter campaigns. In the meantime, thanks to the research of Rick Engel and Montana State University, growers in North America now have more data with which to make their fertilizing decisions in cool weather conditions. In any case, they have yet another situation in which Agritain can help keep nitrogen going to their crop instead of up into thin air. I think there's always been this belief that um, uh, ammonia losses from urea will be um, minimized if we're applying urea when uh, in cold temperatures. But um, it's been surprising that we've seen some of the largest losses when uh, our urea applications are applied uh, at around freezing.